Hey guys, this is John Callum from KHL Motorsport and this is another installment of our project Hyundai Elantra V6 series because we've been tinkering with the suspension this past several months and I'm thinking that this would probably the very first time uh, Evo 5 lower, lower control arms have been mounted on an Elantra maybe, maybe not but um, that's what we were able to do for us, it's more to really look uh, for any advantage to really improve the handling of our car in a parking lot racing like slalom, gymkhana, autocross, and similar um, events. You guys have to understand that the Hyundai Elantra 1996-2000 to 2000, uh, features McPherson struts on all four wheels. Um, but we're focusing on now on the front suspension. Yeah, McPherson strut, they, you know, if, if you could really compare it to the Hondas with their short long arm suspension or what they call the double wishbone suspension, uh, the double wishbone suspension is really more well suited to motorsport applications. The geometry is way better when the suspension compresses, um, you're going to get more camber gain than with the McPherson strut. It's just that the McPherson strut is cheaper to make and cheaper to service uh, for the average user. And since there's nothing much we could do about our suspension, our, our basic suspension design, so we have to stick to what we got. So how to improve what we got? Uh, one of the ways we thought was to increase the lower control arm length. Okay, the objective, there are many objectives or many reasons why we thought of doing this. One is to increase track width. Uh, while we could do that with uh, wheel spacers or with wheels with higher, uh, with lower offset, I mean. And also, yeah, you could use a low, longer lower control arm. Uh, the more, the wider the track width, the more grip you have on that axle. If you're increasing the width uh, of your front axle, you're basically gonna make it more stable so that's the basic of it I mean that just makes that's basically common sense of course using lo longer lower control arms is not the easiest nor the cheapest solution however increasing the LCA length gives you several advantages um, because if you just use wheel spacers or, or lower offset wheels um, you kind of tend to screw up your scrub radius uh, I'm not going to really discuss it you could I'll share a link to a good video uh, explaining uh, scrub radius but basically if you mess up the scrub radius for the car it makes the car difficult to steer or unstable on steering and stable on braking um, a longer lower control arm also increases static negative camber okay this is your wheel the, the shock absorber actually mounts at an angle, a slight angle, but still an angle nonetheless. And then your knuckle will be here, right? So it mounts at an angle like that. And then your lower control arm will be here. So if your shock is like this, I mean, if you don't move the angle of the, stock, the shock, and then you make the lower control arm longer, so the, the wheel really tends to tilt uh, more towards negative camber. So static negative camber is very important for a McPherson strut. Okay, because camber gain is very poor as compared to a short long arm suspension design. So the more static camber you can dial in, that would be best. And finally, the most important part, increasing the length of the LCA uh, gives the CV joint a bit more room Again, the car is lowered. Our, our Elantra is running H&R lowering springs that drops the car uh, one and a half inches in the front. The angle of the CV joints are not ideal. It's not any more close to stock because of the lowering. To increase the lower control arm length. So that reduces binding uh, on the CV joint and it results also on less angularity that this, the outer CV joint has to turn. We've broken many a CV joint uh, in our day with the stock uh, suspension components yet with uh, lowered suspension. 
so hopefully we reduce the tendency with this setup so how did we do that so we had an option we could always modify the stock lower control arm but that involves a lot of fabrication time and the car being unable to move unless we use an extra set of lower control arms but we're really not interested to um, do that well we could do that but uh, something more interesting uh, was uh, made possible by our discovery that uh, you could use sort of use Lancer Evo 4 lower control arms uh, on a Hyundai Elantra Hyundai Coupe chassis we did that on our project Hyundai Coupe all-wheel drive so it's running Evo 4 what's practically an Evo 4 front suspension so if the Evo 4 lower control arm works the Evo 5 lower control arm will also work yet the difference between the Evo 4 and the Evo 5 and 6 is that the lower control arm is longer by approximately an inch per side so it gets you more track width so and the cool thing about the Evo 5 and 6 lower control arms is that they are aluminum um, but the reason why we use Evo 5 lower control arms ex uh, instead of the Evo 6 is that um, the ball joint of the Evo 6 is different while the Evo 5 was very very close and reminiscent to the Hyundai Elantra setup so what we did to mount the Evo 5 lower control arm it's just well we had our machinist um, install Hyundai ball joints uh, onto the car so that it is so that it is compatible with the Hyundai knuckle that we are using we're not going to change the brakes to Evo 5 the Hyundai brakes are okay for our application and we also modified the stud the stud portion of the lower control arm where we wanted to retain use of the Hyundai big bushing so we had to reduce the diameter of that stud part after the modification it bolts on just like stock so that's fantastic we got our one inch um, longer lower control arm but it's not cheap to do with the machining cost and the price of the lower control arms it's not a budget meal solution but if you are really looking just maximizing what you got since you have McPherson strut this is a good mod to do yeah but one other mod that we had to do is to increase also the length of the steering rack ends so the rack ends we used surprisingly which is also one inch longer than the stock Hyundai part is from a Subaru Forester surprisingly I don't exactly know what year but for what I, what I know it's uh, we got some 555 units for a Subaru Forester so what are the results the lower control arm is lighter by 300 grams eh, okay it will help uh, unsprung weight a little bit um, but uh, yeah that's a nice bonus we have an improved static camber of negative 1.5 on the front. Uh, it's part of a balanced, treatable suspension setup. Of course, with the lowering springs, with the rear anti-roll bar from Ultra Racing. Uh, with the difference in tire compound that we've utilized in the front versus the rear. Um, combining this with all the things that we've done. Oh yeah, also we have an LSD. I mean, you combine all these mods. And even the alignment, the alignment's not even a racing alignment, it's just a, ba it's basically a zero toe on negative 1.5 camber in the front. I, uh, we tested it on a recent autocross and really the car really likes to turn. But despite that, trying to play with the car a little bit uh, in the very, very limited time um, on, the, on, on, the, on the closed course, um, car turns, car turns. There's no under there's no understeer. So I'm very satisfied with the, with the result and even though I'm even though I'm on full lock and pushing the throttle so much I was really all giving it some beans also to see if the car will accelerate or not. You know, uh, the CV joint did not fail so luckily 
that was a good advantage. I got we we didn't break the car, um, and it was wet also. So so definitely the limits of the car are way lower than if it were dry. So really the balance of the car was fantastic, and I can't wait to have a more expert driver test the car uh, to see what uh, he or she would look, uh, would think about it. Uh, and yes, when I say to people, yeah, I'm running uh, Evo 5 or Evo 6.5 uh, lower control arms. So I get that's a nice conversation piece to have. And definitely, uh, we are probably the only uh, guys uh, in the Philippines who have done this setup uh, on a Hyundai Elantra. I don't think there'll be anyone who would want it. But in case you want to duplicate our setup, please let us know. I uh, will be happy to hook you up with uh, another custom pair of lower control arms. Um, with that said, I just would like to share this and I hope you learned some new tricks to make your McPherson strut car handle better. So, uh, if this is content that you like seeing, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, please like us on Facebook. We are KHL Motorsport uh, on Facebook. Um, on Instagram, we are Kohol Garage. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and please stay tuned for uh, the next installments of Project Hyundai Elantra V6. Thank you so much, guys. See you and God bless.